And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you how you can create starlight effects. We'll start with a regular clip. I'll put it in my timeline. Let me cut this a little bit. I use the short keys A and B. B is for the split tool, A for the select tool. And something like this should be fine. I'll select it. I use the default layout. Let me get rid of this tooltip. We go to effects, video effects, open a drop down, and there's a star category. If you left click on one of these thumbnails, you will see preview. And there's a large variety. There's strong effects, softer effects, and different forms of light beams or flickering stars. Let me just pick this one as an example. You have to download it first, but once you've got it, you can click on the plus sign. It's in your timeline. You may have to re-adjust it so that it is as long as your footage. Make sure it's selected and then you can adjust it right here via amount and size. What you can adjust though, it depends on the effect that you use. But for most effects, the filters is important as this kind of like messes with the color grading of your footage. So for the most part, you want to go down with the filter so that you preserve the original color grading, the original colors in your clip. Once you've got it adjusted and you still want to have it more intense, you can simply copy and paste this effect. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now I have it two times in my timeline. And yet again, make sure that the filters are set to zero. But now you can see these little stars, these flickering light effects are much more intense. Let's pick this one to so show you another one. And now you can see we've got lots of other adjustment options. So as I've said, it depends on the effect, but here are the filters again. We want to go down. And this is how easy you can add such starlight effects to your footage using CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.